Hello, welcome back to another video on astrology. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the effects of the moon if it happens to be in your 11th house. I'll be referring to Brigu Sutram, which has been uh, translated by Dr. G.S. Kapoor. And I'll be referring to this book. If you want to buy this book online, you can always get it from Ranjan Publications. So whenever I use the positions of planets in any of my videos, I'm actually referring only to the, the Bhava chart or the Chalit chart. In case you have not been introduced to the concepts of the Bhava chart, please refer to my earlier videos. And uh, in case you want to cast your Bhava chart using a computer software, then the best one available right now is Jagannatha Hora. And uh, with a click of a button, you can generate your you can cast your Bhava chart. This does not mean that you can do away with the Rashi chart because it is from the Rashi chart that you can actually know whether the moon in your horoscope is exalted or debilitated or is it in its Mulatrakona in its own sign? Is it afflicted by malefics? Which are the planets that are aspecting the moon? All this is to be known only from the Rashi chart. So let's move on to the green board and uh, discuss the effects of the moon as seen in your horoscope. In the next few minutes, I'll be taking you through 12 possibilities for the moon to be in the 11th house, the 11th Bhava, as seen in the Bhava chart. The first one is uh, already placed before you, the moon in the 11th house. For those of you who do not know how to count houses, uh, let me tell you that the counting always starts from this point where, the, where in any horoscope you find the AAC or LAG, representing the ascendant or the lagna so let's number the houses so this is how the numbering is done clockwise one two three four from the ascendant as the first house and therefore you find the moon in the 11th house the 11th house is the house of fulfillment of desires the house of gain labastana and it's very good to have planets in the 11th house at this point i would like to remind you that the 11th lord is a functional malefic a bad planet but planets in the 11th is very good and it promotes the gain except in one or two cases which you're going to see as we go through the 12 possibilities apart from the effect of a planet in a particular house you should also bear in mind that the graha the concerned graha as in this case the moon happens to be the ruler of the fourth house as well so you'll have to read it as the fourth lord in the 11th house the fourth lord in the 11th house is very good generally because the fourth is comforts and the eleventh is gain. But strangely, Maharshi Parashara says there is a possibility of secret diseases, diseases that uh, do not show up their symptoms like diabetes or blood pressure. Uh, not the typical symptoms that one gets when a person is sick. This may include the possibility of those diseases that the person is shy to reveal. This is the next possibility. The ascendant is on Rishabha, Taurus and the moon in Pisces and this is the 11th house here the moon is the lord of the third and the lord of the third house is the moon so you'll have to read it as the moon in the 11th but also as the third lord in the 11th Maharshi Parashara in BPHS says that the native will gain in trading be intelligent although not not that much qualified academically be adventurous in nature would like to go for several journeys and will also serve others in this chart, the ascendant is on Gemini, Mithuna Lagna and the moon is in the 11th house in the sign of Mars. Second house belongs to the moon, therefore you'll have to also read it as the second lord in the 11th house. Which is very good because the second and the 11th are, they go hand in hand. Both of them are related to fulfillment of desires because mostly, most of the, most of the times you find people desiring wealth, de desiring a family desiring anything that a person is possessive about the second house so you find that by this moon the second and the eleventh house has been interrelated now this is a very good moon in the eleventh house because the ascendant is cancer karkaraga lagna and and the moon owns the ascendant therefore you'll have to read it as the lord of the ascendant which is i or me is in the eleventh house of gain so i gain i'm always after gains I like gains. You can read it in several ways, whichever way you want. But here you find that the moon 
is either in Mula Trikona or it is exalted and this is a very good placement for the moon for a, for a Karkata Galagna person. It's very interesting to note that Maharshi Parashara and BPHS have said that the native will always be endowed with gains, good qualities, name and fame and many wives. In this chart, the ascendant is Leo, Simmalagna and the moon is in the 11th house in a dual sign. The moon here is also the 12th lord in the 11th house. The 12th is not a good house because it relates to losses and uh, going away etc. So you can read this as luck in foreign countries because by going away you gain a lot. So Maharshi Parashara in BPHS, Brihat Parashara Varashastra says that the native will incur losses, be brought up by others will, and will sometimes gain through others. Gain through others is possible by going away, being with other people. The 12th Lord in the 11th house is not good for all those people who stay in their native place. In this chart, the ascendant is Virgo, Kanya Lagna and the moon is in the 11th house. So the moon is quite happy to be here and uh, you'll have to read it as the 11th Lord in the 11th. So Maharshi Parashara is all praised for this combination because the fulfillment of desire planet is sitting in the house of desires. In this example, the ascendant is Libra. Tula Lagna and the moon is in the 11th house but this moon is the lord of the 10th house so you'll have to read it as the 10th lord in the 11th house. Maharshi Parashara in BPHS says the person will be endowed with wealth, happiness and the birth of sons. Here the ascendant is on Scorpio, Vrishika Lagna and the moon is in the 11th in Kanya Rashi or Virgo sign. Here the moon is the 9th lord placed in the 11th Bhava. The 9th is the house of fortune and it is very good to have fortune uh, tied up or linked with the 11th house of fulfillment of desires. In this chart, the ascendant is Sagittarius, Danur Lagna and the moon is in the 11th house coinciding with uh, Libra. But here, the moon is the 8th lord in the 11th house. So, Maharshi Parashara and BPHS says that during the first half of life, the person goes through a lot of troubles and anxieties and uh, it is only during the second half the person is happier. If malefic planets are with the moon, Maharshi Parashara says that we should anticipate financial troubles. People having this combination should venture into business very carefully after considering all the plus and minus in their horoscope. This is Capricorn Ascendant, Makar Lagna and the moon is in the 11th house. The moon here, as you all know, is debilitated and is considered weak. But you'll also have to read it as the 7th Lord in the 11th house. Maharshi Parashara in BPHS says that the native will gain wealth through his wife. That's because the seventh house is the spouse. Be endured with less happiness from sons, but will be blessed with daughters. At this juncture, I would like to remind all of you that do not jump to conclusions the moment you see a graha is exalted or debilitated, as in this case. Sometimes you may be surprised to find that in Shadbala, the, the said graha is doing very well. For example, in a chart like this, I have actually come across a case where in Shadbala, the moon is the strongest planet. This is possible. Here, the ascendant is Aquarius, Kumbhalagna, and the, moon, and the moon always likes to be in the sign of Jupiter. So, this is a good moon, but also has a side effect that the moon is the lord of the sixth in the eleventh house. You all know that the house number 6, 8, and 12 is considered challenging. Maharshi Parashara in BPHS says that if the sixth lord is in the eleventh house, the native will gain wealth through his enemies. And you may translate this as luck through foreigners by going to foreign countries. Be virtuous, adventurous and be and will not be very happy with children. So we have come to the last possibility where the ascendant is Pisces, Meena Lagna and the moon is in Makara in the sign of Saturn. And here, this moon is quite good because the moon happens to be the lord of the fifth in the eleventh house. The fifth house you all know is the house of creativity, entertainment, spontaneity, intelligence. So as you rightly guessed, Maharshi Parashara in BPHS has said that the person will be learned, be dear to people, be an author of bestsellers, be very skillful and will be endowed with sons and wealth. I went through all the 12 possibilities just to let you know that though you may have moon in the 11th house like let's say your friends, now you know that the result will not be the same as the other person because the ascendant is not the same as your as that of your friend. Let's uh, go back to Bhrigu Sutram. Sage Bhrigu says Bahu Shrutavan. Dr. G.S. Kapoor translates this as the native will be highly learned Putravan. 
will have sons and also mean good children upakari and will be helpful to others pancha shadvarshe putrarna bahu prabhalya yoga at the age of 50 he will be father of many sons maybe sage bhrugu meant to say that the person will have quite a large family with uh, sons and grandsons and quite a huge number and along with bahu prabhalya yoga gunadaya he will also possess praiseworthy qualities bhavadipe balahine bahudana vyayah so now he uses the conditions apply bhavadipe if the lord of the 11th house is weak then the native will be will have to put up with lot of expenditure so throughout bhruga sutram you find statements like this which advises to look into the condition of the the lord of the house concerned in this case the 11th house balayute labavan on the other hand if the 11th lord is strong and well placed then it gives the full effects of the moon in the 11th labavan the presence of the moon in the 11th house will enable the native to acquire wealth without much effort labe chandre nikshepa labaha uh, let's uh, look up uh, spoken sanskrit.de for uh, the other meanings of uh, nikshepa from the words you may draw your own conclusion the next words are shukra yutena naravahana yogaha here he says if the moon is with venus like this then the person will be the owner of conveyances pulled by pulled by men palanquin that's what sage bhrugu is referring to but it may also mean that the vehicle of this person's life is being pushed by men today we all know in a democratic uh, government the outcome of the elections is decided by the men the voters so a politician having this combination will be fully favored bahu vidyavan he'll be highly educated not necessarily education maybe skilled in many maybe is very skilled in a particular area and will own lands kshetravan aneka jana aneka jana is a large number of people aneka jana rakshana bhagyavan he will be fortunate and the protector of others may hint at the possibility of a person being a politician at the end of this video i have i have displayed the photograph of the ex cm of tamil nadu who has the moon in the 11th house we have come to the end of this video in case you have any doubts please type them out in the comment section and whenever i find the time i'll answer them for you and see you soon in my next video